medium frequency, a quadpolar interferential current on a low back spasm with the Chattanooga. This is going to be a demonstration of using the Chattanooga unit to do a treatment on a low back. The pads have been set up in a quadpolar setup. And now I'm going to bring this over here and show you one more time on the machine. You're going to fall, go through the whole thing. Home screen is the beginning screen that we have here. Electrotherapy. We're going to do an interferential setup, which means to crisscross the pads. This is the description of the machine, but I'm going to go to edit. I'm trying to get rid of her low back spasm, so I'm going to change the beat high down to a 120 hertz, because that's the high range for the fatiguing tetany. And then it says beat low is 80, beat high is 120, sweep is on. If I turn the sweep off, it's fixed to 100 hertz, and I could always change that too, but I'm not going to. And we're going to put that sweep back on. And then I'm going to be doing the treatment here, and when I do turn this on, I'm going to be using a vector scan of 40%, which means, let's say she gets to a 10 volt CV of, a, um, of her intensity limit. I turn When I hit the start button, it'll actually vector down 40%. So it'll go down from 10 to 6, back to 10 to 6, and it won't do it at the same time. And that's how the patient feels like a sweeping motion when we do the uh, interferential treatment. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here, and here we go. I'm going to start turning this on. So Erica, tell me when you feel the pain, right, or you feel the muscle twitching. Okay, so here it goes on. You should start feeling something. We're up to 8 CVs. To 1.9. You feel anything yet? I feel a little. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get a twitch that's visible. Tell me when to stop, though. Sometimes it takes, I'm only at 4.6, so. Volt CV. You see how her muscle's starting to get more visible right there? Is that too much or okay? No, that's good. Thank okay, right there. And now what I'm going to do, Erica, is hit start, and let's see if we can see a difference. And sometimes on some people, you can get the contraction so high. So if you think we can go higher to make a bigger contraction, you let you me know. You can go higher. Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn off the vector skim, and I'm going to bring up the intensity. I have to go kind of quick back up where I was. I'm at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm at 12 now. Tell me absolute stop. You That's want, good. You want your muscles to really be contracting. Can you feel it through there? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to go onto the vector scan again and hit start. So it's very straightforward. You can go back and manipulate. You can't really see much happening on her. Please note that I have located one of these right at the top of her glu uh, gluteal region. That's a really good surround for this area. It should be going off and on and sweeping on and off. When you have the vector scanning in intensity levels that are stronger and then uh, less strong, that will cause a prevention of accommodation. Plus it removes the need to surge with the cycle five on, one off. Um, so this is channel one and this is channel two, okay? And that's pretty much it, so thank you.